up and get rid of some old, get rid of some noise. Cab of the truck running down the road. So yeah, we're gonna have a little background noise. Amazing thing. Was in church yesterday. Young couple talking to the pastor at the breakfast table. Yeah, we cook breakfast at our church. And they was talking, you could tell they was hurting. They was destitute. Didn't have that stone on sick. I believe they was living in their car or their van. She's talking about it was half out of oil. It's out of gas. He was supposed to start a new job Monday. And they had nowhere else to go. Nowhere else to turn. We the people ought to be taking care of each other. God's people. You can't outgive God. A lowly $20 bill was slipped over to him from someone who, that overheard the conversation. I had my back to the whole deal. I was cooking. I was cooking pancakes. But uh, it's just the tears of joy. You could tell it meant everything to this couple. It just meant everything. It meant gas for them. It meant oil for the van. And it didn't take government to do a damn thing about it. It takes people caring about people. They're around us always, as Christ said. As Christ said, the poor will be with you always. We all make choices in this life and we have to live with them. The consequences of going to school or not, of learning a trade or not. And this was a young couple. 20s maybe. I had no idea that they was that hard off. The tears of joy. <coughs> oh, it just don't don't ever pass up a chance to do a random a random act of kindness. You can't outgive God. He will repay it all. And don't accept the accolades of someone you helped. Tell them to put the, the tell them to put the joy where it belongs. Thank the Lord that someone cared enough, just like they cared enough for you to, tell, to share the gospel of Christ. He paid the price. This pastor says you can you can sum up the New Testament in short order. Love God, love yourself, and love others. You never know what that random act of kindness it might prevent a suicide. It might it just it might be everything to them. To you it is nothing. I mean, you know, to most people, they'll go out and waste $20 and not think anything about it. But to them, it was everything. They're around us every day. They're not just, they're not just on the street corner trying to game the system because they're too lazy to work. They're in our churches. They're around us. In my church, I know of three? Three for sure that live in vans and not because they don't want a home it's because it's all they got sometimes I think they show up just to have something to eat because they don't have anything else so we offer two meals a week so we have a Sunday we have a Sunday morning service 
a Wednesday night service. We don't have a Sunday night service. We have breakfast on Sunday mornings and we serve a dinner on Wednesday nights. We love people. We care for people. And this, this is not a mega church. We are, we have a little church that will hold a, about 75 people in a pinch. We have had 100. Things get real crowded then. But go out this day and look for someone, someplace, and do that random act of kindness. That is Americana. It's not worldly gains. It's not being selfish. It's about caring for your brother, caring for your sister. You don't know what their walk entails. As I said the other day, it's not your job to walk on somebody else's water, but you dang sure get out of the boat and walk on your own water and do the calling that the good Lord called you to do. And maybe you don't know what that is. Maybe it is oh, I suck. Maybe it is just to be a just to be a pillar, you stand, you, you stand there silent, but when the need arises, you open your heart and you fulfill it. Even if that means, even if that means you take out, even if that means it causes a hardship for you, because blessings come. The Lord watches out for his own. And, you know, it just, the love I seen, the tears of joy, it wasn't someone trying to game a system. <coughs> they truly needed help. And someone helped them. That is love. Knowing that these people could not do a thing for them. Not, but not, you know, son, you just give out of your pocket, out of your heart, knowing that they can't do a dang thing for you, and you don't want to, you don't want a dang thing for you. You just want to help. Anyway, that's my digital link for this morning. Love y'all. Take care. God bless. Rock on.